Hi everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here today to bring you nine simple, easy to use tips and techniques to clear blockages and stagnant energies from yourself, your life, and your home. These are things that are you can easily access and easily do on your own. So the first thing is to start with your home. Clear and clean your home extremely well. Clean out the closets, clean out the cupboards, clean out the drawers, clean everything top to bottom. This is basically a spring cleaning. And if you can implement some items into your cleaning that include uplifting energies like a citrus floor wash, for example, then you'll be heightening this ritual even more. Cleaning your home is definitely something that can be easily translated into a spiritual cleansing. And personally, I love to implement spiritual cleansing into my home cleansing. I think that's a great opportunity to uplift the vibrations in your home to clean out the energetic stagnancies in your home and to invite in blessings and positive energy. Rearrange your home. If you've been feeling really stuck, really stagnant in your life and you really need to move forward, then you can begin by showing the universe that you're ready to change. You're ready to let change into your life and you're ready to move forward. One of the ways that you can communicate that to the universe is by actually moving things around in your physical world. You're also going to feel a lot better in your home if you can get the energy in your home flowing differently. When things have felt um, heavy in the physical home, for example, oftentimes a cleaning and a rearranging is going to make a world of difference in changing how the energy inside your home feels. You can knock this up a notch if you get rid of stuff that you don't need and really um, be discerning about this. Get rid of anything that no longer feels good to you. Get rid of anything that you don't use. Get rid of anything you don't want and you don't need. Um, even things things that were given to you as a gift, even things that you may feel guilt, like you should hold on to them, but you really don't want them or you really don't use them, get rid of anything. It's important to let the universe know that you're ready to let go of the old and bring in the new. This is a way to communicate that you're overcoming these blockages, you're blasting through them, you're moving forward. The next thing is to fumigate your home. I recommend rosemary for this. Rosemary is easy to obtain. It burns very well. It's extremely potent for removing unwanted energies and drawing in blessings. It's multi-purpose for purification as well as for good luck with money and blessings and abundance just like cinnamon it's one of these all-purpose kinds of botanicals that's excellent for fumigating your home so pair up your home cleansing and rearranging with some fumigation and rosemary is a great one it's easy to obtain move your body differently so if you have physically been feeling like this energetic stagnancy is weighing on you if you've been feeling lethargic cloudy minded or like you just can't break through to the next level because you don't have the energy or you've been weighed down by worry or stress or doubt then you could be at risk for um saving energetic energy inside of your body that can turn into energetic blockages. So move your body differently, even if it's really hard to get moving at first, you're going to feel a lot better if you really push yourself to move your body in a way that you don't usually move your body. So this part is important because if you already do some kind of exercise or you're already like on your feet or active for work, then you're going to want to make a concerted effort that this movement is going to be different than the movement that you usually do. So some things that are really helpful would be yoga, 
or deep stretching, just real relaxed deep stretching on the floor to get the tension out of your body to release things. You could also walk or run. You could also get a massage or acupuncture, or you can dance. This is simple, this is easy to do, and it makes a world of difference for raising the vibrations within you, uplifting your mood, as well as bringing some happiness and some new energy into your home. Put on some music that you love, that you cannot sit still to, and dance. Dance around your house. It's a wonderful ritual. One of the next things would be use citrus aromatherapy. So I mentioned that I like to mix this into my home cleansing, which I turn into a spiritual home cleansing. You can do that with a citrus floor wash, or you could just get some essential oils and use an oil diffuser, or you can cut up some lemons and limes and sit them out around the house or put them in a pan of water on the stove and let that come to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and let the, that aroma um, emanate through your home. It's very uplifting, it's cleansing, it's high vibe. It's gonna make a world of difference with all of this. You can also take a coffee bath. So this is very easily done. You can brew some very strong coffee. Uh, a lot of traditional workers would recommend that you let that coffee sit out for a day so that you use day old coffee. And the reason why is because the oil then rises to the top of the coffee and that is the, um, the potent part of the coffee. So you want to get that oil in your bath. But freshly brewed coffee is going to work too. Add coffee to your bath water. It's not going to look pretty. It's actually really good for your skin though. And it's very helpful in removing blood blockages and obstacles. This is essentially a road opener bath or an on-blocking bath. So this is really a simple way to do a spiritual bath to remove blockages and obstacles and get yourself flowing in the right direction again. And of course, as with any of this, you can heighten the potency by adding in some prayers or adding in a candle. You can really dress this up however you like to and whatever method works the best for you. Bring in some fresh flowers and plants into your home. This is a great way to really um, get the energy of your home flowing in a different way, to really bring in some positivity, to change the way that things feel. Bring in some fresh flowers. They don't have to be expensive, fancy flowers. They can be carnations. They can be flowers that you picked outside. They can even be ornamental plants that you picked outside. They could be herbs. They could be kitchen herbs that you found at the grocery store, but bring in some plants and some flowers, some fresh li living things to help to clean your air and to help to ease your mind because when you see growing things in your world, it actually changes your brain chemistry. That has been proven. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to go into why and how that's been proven, but look it up. There are articles out there just looking at green things and looking at plants really changes the way that our brain works. It, it induces different chemicals and different hormones that are not necessarily there without it. Use sound therapy. This can be done in a lot of different ways. So you can definitely find some free, easy to access videos on YouTube. You can access some sound baths on Instagram. Um, you can listen to binaural beats, which there are also millions of those to find online. Or you can just play some music that you really like that puts you in a good mood and that feels good to listen to in your home. But sound is a very easy easily accessible way to change your mood, to change vibrations, and to really um, bring in some positive energy into your life and into your home, into your world. Use color therapy, right? So this doesn't mean that you need to repaint your house or anything. Um, you can find some small items that are brightly colored, or they don't have to be brightly colored. They can be colors that really make you feel good. Um, just try to pay attention to what colors make you feel good and bring some of those colors into your home, even if it's just um, a couple of small pictures. Um, 
some easy ways to do this would be to get free paint samples from the store, like from a paint store or home decor store. Bring home some of those paint samples and put them in a location where you're going to be looking at them repeatedly. You can even hold them in your hand and meditate on that color or on those colors. You could relate colors to the chakras that are that most need work in your life at this time. Um, solar plexus chakras related to yellow energy related to fire related to the sun those things are related to um, high energy and kind of cleansing energy so you may want to relate some put some yellow in your world to kind of correspond to those energies um, blue tends to be a very calming energy for a lot of people as is lavender or pink you can wear the colors that resonate with you and that make you feel the best you could implement a little watercolor therapy for yourself experiment with some painting so there's lots of different ways to do this including bringing some colorful flowers into your home so I hope you enjoyed my nine tips for releasing stagnant energy and overcoming blockages I hope this gives you some great ideas of some simple and easy to access ways that you can get the energy flowing in your life and start to feel better when you need to thanks so much much for watching and stay blessed.